what height should an aircraft on a 2.5 degree glide slope be at a range of 6 nautical miles from touchdown given an ILS reference of 50 feet. Do you see the ILS reference there? You're talking about the same ILS reference datum there. So what you have to do is find the answer normally and just add ILS reference to it. It's 50 feet here, so simply add the 50 feet. So let's see how the diagram goes here. So we asked to find out height of a particular aircraft, question number one. Aircraft on a 2.5 degree glide slope, so let's draw the runway here, and the aircraft is on a 2.5 degree glide slope, this is the extended center line, ECL. What's the glide slope? It's 2.5 degrees, and at a range of 6 nautical miles from touchdown, so touchdown is happening here. So the range is given as 6 nautical miles. This simply resembles the 160 questions. Given ILS reference height of 50. So where is the reference height? The reference height is actually at the intersection point of your center line with the threshold and on the slope. So IL 50 feet is right here. This is the ILS reference height. Last to find out what is the height uh, of the aircraft? 6 nautical miles from the threshold. So how do you find out? We can use the normal formula as well. Height is equal to glide slope multiplied by the range divided by That's right. 60. Height on glide slope is equal to you take the glide slope, glide slope multiplied by range multiply with 100 that is and then okay. you multiply with the range. So the glide slope into 100 in the range. How much is this? So 1,500 feet. Right now, you have to add the reference height that is given. Right. So remember, this uh, six nautical miles that we considered is from the threshold. It's a six nautical miles. Right. You have to further add the threshold height of the, the reference height of 50. So what is the answer? In fact. 1550 feet. Now you can do it in a different way just by applying the normal 160 as well. So if you, if you apply 160 here, so what is back that? Is like 2.5 degrees. That's a 2.5 degrees is equal to distance of, and that is very similar to the height here, right? Yeah. By distance to go, which is the range into 60, yeah. right? So what is the height here? Height is equal to 2.5 into the range is 6 nautical miles divided by 60. Remember that is going to give you the height in nautical miles, which means you have to convert this to feet by 6080 feet. So what is the answer here? One five two zero feet and then you add the ILS reference of 50 and you will get one five five seven seven. Zero feet. So it's, it's it approximated, but it's pretty close. So if you remember in the discussion, the theory of 1 and 60 we have studied, that to make the calculations easier, what do we do? We kind of imagine that, or we assume okay. that 1 nautical mile is not 6 zero eight zero feet, rather it is 6,000 feet. So what we do here is height is equal to 2.5 into 6 divided by 60 into instead of 6 zero eight zero, we give it 6,000. And that is what you can see that this 6 and this 6 are cancelled, the 10 and this gets cancelled. Sorry, there's something wrong. Sorry, not this 6. Yeah. And you can see what remains here is 100. So 60 and this 6000 gets cancelled, and what you get is 100. So it's 2.5 into 6 into 100, and that's exactly what we do here. This 100 comes from this approximation of 6080 to 6000 divided by 60 into a range. So you can look at the options and you can kind of, kind of figure out what the answer is. So remember, if you are, if you are given two options, one 1550 and the other is 1570, which is more correct? 1570 is more correct because this is with an approximation. Right? This is this one is with an approximation. Therefore, that is having more mistakes. Therefore, you have to go with 1570. Now, how will you accurately find the answer? Even 1 and 60 is also an approximation. If I want a better accurate answer, I have to apply trigonometry. Let's apply trigonometry here. Tan 2.5. Yeah. So how much is that? So it becomes uh, 
Aldoria, that's fine. So you apply tan theta here, the tan 2.5 is equal to the height divided by Base, the 6 nautical miles. Right, so how much is that? So height is height is 0.26 nautical miles. 0.26 nautical miles. And if I do the conversion 0 0.26 into 6080 feet. Point zero eight zero one five eight zero plus fifty plus fifty. So it's one six three zero. This is the actual value. But as as I've discussed before, in a fast moving aircraft at this point of time, uh, this accuracy is, doesn't really matter. Uh, you need to have an. Uh, have a precise, have a closer value, which is easier to calculate in the aircraft. That is why we come up with the approximation. You see, if you know this, then you can simply multiply 2.5 with 100 into 6. It becomes much more easier than doing all this. That is why we use this in the aircraft. This is more aircraft friendly method. All right. But and what I'm saying is you have all these answers available. Look at the options and pick up accordingly. All right. Perfect. So what is the answer here? Bravo. That's it. Bravo is the answer. All right. Next question. The outer marker of an ILS with a 3 degree glide slope is located 4.6 nautical miles to the threshold. Assuming a glide slope height of 50 feet above the threshold, the approximate height of an aircraft passing the outer marker is. One common mistake I find in these kind of questions is you forget the 50 feet. Because that is not there in all the questions. So you just find out the height straight. So do not forget the uh, 50 feet. So the glide slope is given as 3 degree. The outer marker is located. What is the what is the general average distance of outer marker in general? 3.5 nautical miles to 6 nautical six. miles. So you can see it is 4.6 nautical miles given here. So that's it from the threshold. Now assuming a glide slope height of 50 feet. You're talking about the ILS reference datum. Early. Of 50 feet above the threshold, the approximate height of the aircraft passing over the outer marker. So basically, you have the runway here, center line, extended center line, and from the threshold, 4.6 nautical miles, is you have the outer marker, and the glide slope is given as Three degrees, and we have seen before the glide slope will intersect the threshold at a height of 50 feet, which is given as a reference here. We are asked to find out at what height should the aircraft pass the um, outer marker. This height is asked. What is this angle? That's also three degrees. The angle is not changing, right? All right. So how will you find out height on glide slope? Yes. So you have the glide slope which is 3 degrees and you multiply with 100. So you know 100 comes from that approximation which we saw in the previous question, 6000 by 60. Hindu, what is the range? 4.6. Remember, this is a nautical miles. Yes. So what is the answer? 13. 13? 13? No, no, no. Tell me. 380. 1380. Now what's the thing? Plus? 50. 50. How much is that? 1430. This this height is actually 1380 feet. And you're adding the 50 feet extra, which is right here. Uh, there were total distances. So total height is? 1430 feet. 